Brandon, when you see the Yankees making that kind of loud contact earlier, are you immediately concerned that this could potentially be a long night for Bruce? Well, yeah, I mean, I just thought that he, uh, you know, this left some balls out over the plate. Obviously, he gave up a lot of hard contact early, uh, kind of battled through those first three innings. I mean, we're still in the game when he left the game. It's a, you know, it was a three to four one, four one game after the fourth. Um, but yeah, it wasn't his best night for him. They, they uh, you know, they, they scored him up quite a bit. Uh, and, you know, he's got to be able, he's got to be able to pitch in a little bit more. And didn't think that his stuff was as crisp as it has been in the past. Um, but our bowl, great, great job, uh, Solcer once again. And cool to see Jay out there getting the ground ball double play and, and a punch out to the judge at the end there. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. Hey, uh, Brandon, the Orioles have had um, a long history against Kluber, and you've, you've had a history against Kluber, too. Uh, where, you know, was he close to the Kluber that you, you saw in his prime tonight? I thought he located it really well. I thought he really made it tough on our hitters. You saw a lot of cutters that really jamming our left-handed hitters, uh, kind of really stand off the barrel with them in. A lot of a lot of comeback steamers, cutter. Uh, he looked more of a pit like a pitcher tonight. Corey Kluber, when I when I saw him, this was now the time five years ago. It was power two seam power breaking ball. Um, and you know he's he's it's five years later. He's gone through some things, and and now you know he's pitching. He's pitching extremely well. That was a, that was a um, you know I just thought he executed all of his pitches tonight utilized all of his pitches and made it really, really tough on our, our guys breaking balls to our right-handed hitters, a lot of cutters in uh, to our left-handed hitters, really crowding them. Dan Connolly, go ahead. Brandon, you mentioned uh, Flaw getting the, you know, the double play and the strikeout. Well, that double play and strikeout came against two former MVPs. Um, how, how cool do you think that moment was even more so for him, in fact, who he was facing and how he, you know, how he finished it up? Yeah, I think he was setting them up. <laughs> Two walks to start the inning and skate artist. No, I think it was uh, that was obviously really cool. But when he got behind the count, was a little concerned. But to come back and get him to swing on an elevated fastball and then get uh, I haven't seen the video some sort of off speed down for the for the uh, for the two ball and then, and then the punch out for Judge was was great. John Mioli, go ahead. Brandon, Franco had another nice play at third, and he's a couple of hits. He, he seems like he's been one of the more consistent guys this year. How important is it to have somebody like that when so many other guys might be searching? Talking about defensively? Uh, no, offensively. I don't know why I mentioned the ground ball. <laughs> I kind of tuned you off, after, tuned you out after that. But I'm going to talk about our defense. I thought we played really well defensively for the second night in a row. So Franco with a really nice play, Rio with a really nice play. Franco offensively, you know, he gives himself a chance because he's in, he's in the action every at bat, every pitch. He's trying to do damage. Uh, you know, you saw the double last night where he kind of tomahawks one out over the plate. Uh, you know, he's just got a feel. He's got a feel for the barrel. He's got a feel to to get hits. And um, yeah, so he's been consistent. You know, consistent hitter in our in our lineup so far this year.